Hi, and welcome to Comedy Recapped. Today's film will be the 1982 comedy titled The Beach Girls. This movie is full of high-energy partying, hijinks, and plenty of slapstick silliness. So stick around, but beware. Spoilers ahead. Enjoy. School is out, and Sarah is invited by her uncle Carl to stay at his beach house for the summer. When she arrives, she's quickly joined by her more worldwise party girlfriends, Ginger and Ducky. The two bring home a charismatic hitchhiker, Scott, to whom Sarah takes a liking to quickly. Meanwhile, they're dealing with a peeping Tom throughout, the maintenance guy who only ever sees a few steps behind the crews, watching as the madness unfolds. He gets into various compromising positions, which generally just ends up harming himself somehow, right when he gets a good view of the party. The two convince their shy friend to throw a party, inviting all sorts of delivery drivers, service people, and other hired workers to populate it. Sarah has difficulty opening up as the party gets a little out of hand and people keep telling her to loosen up. The neighbors call the police, or at least the neighbor's wife, as he doesn't seem to mind too much. Unfortunately, the policeman who show up decides to join in on the festivities instead. We're introduced to the Coast Guard and the captain's ragtag collection of hapless recruits, who seem more interested in having fun with their compulsive captain than anything else. They go out to find the boat of drug smugglers coming up from Mexico with the Devil's Weed. They're ready to find the ship of smugglers. However, they see them coming and quickly dump out the stock of marijuana before they catch up to them and come aboard. The Coast Guard is disappointed that they were too late, outsmarted and defeated by the smugglers' quick thinking. Uncle Carl breaks up the party, promising Sarah they could finish the night, but everyone has to leave in the morning. Ducky and Ginger decide, then, to convince Carl otherwise and make him want to stay by all manners of seducing him, between getting naked and offering drugs, all the way to persuade him to take them sailing first thing in the morning. He's confused but goes along, quickly adapting to the madness of the day and beginning to enjoy himself. Unfortunately, the neighbor's wife calls his fiancée Julie once she realizes that Carl is there himself. On the beach, Ginger and Ducky discover the discarded bags of marijuana and are thrilled. They quickly, excitedly, pick it all up and repackage the lot of it. When the next party rolls around, they give it out in baggies as party favors, sharing the inexplicable wealth with everyone who decides to show up. Once the weed is passed around and in their system, everyone starts to loosen up including the brutish Sarah. She decides to finally let loose and have some fun herself. Julie and her driver, Wong, drive to the beach house and she catches Carl in a compromising position with the girls, one he can't talk himself out of. She storms off only to get caught up with the suave policeman where she seemingly forgets all of her problems. In the background, the peeping Tom handyman and Wong have a misunderstanding. This leads to the two of them fighting each other through the grounds, only to end up in a mud pit with a bunch of rowdy partygoers. Unfortunately, the Coast Guard catches the party, and is quick to break it up and confiscate all of the weed stuffed throughout the house. They come out to the beach where everyone else is, and, perhaps short-sightedly, toss it all in the bonfire. The party perks up considerably, as everyone finds themselves suddenly comfortable and having fun including the straight-laced neighbors and the Coast Guard alike. Meanwhile, Sarah feels much looser and more comfortable, something Scott doesn't like as much when he's not benefiting from it. She starts dancing at the party, and he's never far behind. When they make it outside to the bonfire, Sarah loses her top. Scott makes a move. The two of them share a kiss, realizing they'd instead end up with each other at the end of all of this, instead of the other people. Meanwhile, the smugglers have just collected more bags of weed and are ready to go back to the beach and pick up the rest. However, in a bout of paranoia, they dump these bags out as well. They decide that they're done smuggling. Or rather, the captain chooses it for all three of them. They're in over their heads and decide to be out of the game. In the end, Uncle Carl catches his fiancée in the hot tub with the policeman, having her own little private party, and rejoins Ducky and Ginger on the beach. He decides he needs a vacation and invites the girls along with him. They're so excited, they embrace, and Ducky tosses a supposedly empty crate onto the fire so they can head up to the house. Except, it wasn't open, which triggers the fireworks in the container to go off. 
creating a stunning display for the whole party after they all scattered to a safe distance. High as they are and freaked out by the fireworks, the Coast Guard captain sees Wong on the beach and they retreat, thinking they're under attack. The movie ends with the handyman finally joining the party, only to pass out by the pool with a liquor bottle in hand. Let us know what you thought of the movie down below. While you're at it, if you like the video and want to look into other movies with us, make sure you drop and like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss another video.